Okay, I thought this might be a cool little video to do before I started doing Horror Madness, which is probably I won't be uploading anything else until I'm done with that. More likely these titles right here when I get them done and everything. So yeah. So I'm going to show you some horror titles that I haven't done a video on. Some of them I have watched before. Some of them I haven't watched before. So let's get into this video. I'll start with the Out of Print Screen Factory title. Terror Train. This is out of print. Uh, I didn't get the slipcover. There is a slipcover to this. Uh, slipcover is really rare to get from Screen Factory titles when they're like old to get. So, yeah. Uh, and the only reason I got this is because I heard Jamie Lee Curtis is in this. Kind of had a reference in my favorite Wes Craven horror franchise, Scream. So, yeah. I had to get it. And Jamie Lee Curtis is in it. So, yeah. <laughs> Here's another out of print Screen Factory title. And this one's probably more harder to get than that because there's only, how many copies? There's only 10,000 copies. And I got 5,290 right here. And that is Nightbreed, the Director's Cut Limited Edition. And it got the um, theatrical version of it for the first time ever on Blu-ray. So if you're into like retro VHS collecting of horror films, you got the original cut of it, the theoretical cut. And I do too, but I got it at a better quality. I thought about buying a VSS player and buying VHS. And I really didn't see the point in doing that since, you know, I got the better quality films right here. Okay, here's some two still books from Screen Factory. They're both John Carpenter's films, Prince of Darkness, and I saw it on Precinct 13. I think you still can get these. And they had another movie that I think are The Fog. They had no. I think they had another movie that I already had or I didn't want. I don't know. Or was it only these two? I don't know. Usually they bring up three or two. Okay, talking about John Carpenter. Uh, here's another John Carpenter film, but based on a Stephen King's novel, Christine. I had to get this. Uh, I haven't seen it since I was a kid, and I just had to get it. I really wanted a still book because the still book looked pretty cool, but again, that was a Best Buy thing, and they're selling it for a lot more on Amazon, so I didn't see no point in buying it. And plus, I got this for nine dollars, so forty or fifty bucks or thirty-three dollars for a still book, and I can get it for nine dollars in the same thing. I mean, come on. Don't get me wrong, I like still books, but I don't like the pricing of it. I mean, if you can get the regular Amaray for that much money, you should get at least a little more, but not that lot more. So, yeah. Here's a creepy film. Uh, I heard many good things about it. Uh, it's from the executive producer of The Witch, which I haven't even seen that horror film, but The Void heard many good things on it. It is on Netflix right now. I did not see it on Netflix because I already ordered it and then when I looked on Netflix, it was on Netflix. I still haven't seen it, so. But I heard many good things about this film, so yeah. You gotta have this in your collection. You gotta have this in your horror collection. Good luck trying to find this on Amazon. Uh, I had to order mine off of Walmart.com. So yeah. And I got The Omen. Seen these films yet? Um, it's about the devil's kid or some crap like that. Well, it, it ain't crap. I'm pretty sure this is probably an awesome horror film franchise. Just, I got every one of them now. <laughs> and it comes in this kind of digi thing or whatever you want to call it. And it's got the pockets, the digi pockets that people don't like. To me personally, the Blu ray disc is a lot more harder to scratch than the DVD. And plus, when I had DVDs, I had scratch up DVDs, and they still worked. So, I don't know. Maybe it was the good quality of DVD player that I had. And I get these two awesome Rob Zombie films, The Devil's Rejects, and House of Thousand Corpse. Now, I just need to get uh, The Lords of Salem. And then, I basically have every Rob Zombie film that's out on Blu-ray. 
Except El Bisto. I know El Bisto is out. I don't know if I'm going to get that, to be honest, because it's an animated film. And plus, I mean, I didn't really like it. I mean, it was funny. It was awesome when I was a kid. Rewatched it like a couple months ago, and I, it was kind of dumb to me, to be honest. And kind of perverted. So, yeah. Got some error video titles right here. Back to the case. Uh, the only reason why I got this, um, I wasn't going to buy it when it first came out. Because I didn't know I was going to like it. Still haven't seen the film. You know, there's like a two and three to this. And I kept on seeing a lot of other blue tubers to getting it. And they do a movie review of it. And it sounded pretty cool. It sounded like I would like it. So, I got it. And plus, it's air video copy. I think the rest of them are like some other company. But, going to get them sooner or later. Here's another air video title. Stephen King's Chose of the Corn. I still haven't seen this. Um, heard many good things about it. Plus, is there a video title? And I need to get the other ones. Apparently, the part two is not on Blu-ray yet, which kind of sucks. But every, all the other ones, even the new ones out on Blu-ray. So, yeah. Got an out-of-print title right here for Error Video. And I'm kind of disappointed in this. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the... The eBay seller I bought off of Amazon, or was it the stupid guy that works with my sister like to get into my packages? But very disappointing. And later to find out they don't got no more copies of this on Amazon, so I couldn't really contact Amazon saying uh, this happened. Uh, it's very disgusting, and I would like another copy. And when I would say that, there's no other copies on Amazon. Yeah. It comes with a different slipcover. It's Blood Rage. And what happened was very disgusting. Uh, I will get into that when I do the video. I don't even know if I'm going to keep the slipcover, to be honest. I guess every time I look at it, uh, I just see what was on it. And it's just very disgusting. And plus, it warped the freaking the case because I put hand sanitizer to disinfect this thing man and plus it ruined the stupid slipcover right here and right here so yeah here's another error video title Chud this movie is pretty awesome uh I think it has some actors in it from Home Alone the only one I can recognize was the, the tall dude with the beard that was one of the thieves for Joe Pesci <laughs> So, yeah, uh, this movie is pretty awesome. Uh, Caramelistic Humanoids Underground Duellers. That's what Chud stands for. Uh, but the weird thing is, um, I'm going to have to rewatch this one because for some reason, I like the second one better than the first one. Which is weird. They're two different completely movies. This one's about mutants underground in the sewers and this one's like zombies cannibalistic zombies something like that I don't know um, and this is the visitor video collection series um, I think this is going out of print because I only could find the UK title of this from Amazon and I didn't want to spend that much money on it because there's a lot more than what they're selling it on Walmart. Usually sometimes if you can't find a title on Amazon, look on Walmart, it might be there, or Target, or Best Buy. That's usually how I do it before going to eBay, which I never really had to go to eBay yet, so that's a good thing. And now I have a Vinegar Syndrome copy that's way out of print I ordered this off of Amazon there was only two copies left I got one of the two and I mean it sucks that I pay 50 bucks for it but I wanted it I mean limited edition out of print movie that sounded pretty cool I mean it's got Clint Howard in it it's Ice Cream Man didn't notice um, it's got Clint Howard in it where he chops up kids and put them in ice cream, sell it to kids or whatever. <laughs> Which is pretty weird, man. And the cool thing about it, uh, 
Monster Vision. Um, it's got the Ice Cream Man Monster Vision Summer School Edition with Joe Bob Driggs and Clint Howard. It's got that old schoolness to it into this for a special feature, which is pretty awesome. There needs to be more horror films coming out with that into them. This one is the first one that I have seen that's got some Monster Vision kind of stuff into it, which hopefully uh, Shutter Network will bring that back. It's, it's something as us horror fans really need. So yeah, this video has already been this long, so I hope you like it. Please like it, please subscribe, check out the Twitter page, and have an awesome day, guys. Hope you like all the titles here. Tell me about it if you saw them, or whatever. See you guys.